This morning in the Modern Parent, we are celebrating National Unplugging Day. And here now to help us all disconnect a very important thing is recruiter from Cadence Education, one of our good friends, Brent Elliott. Good morning, Brent. Morning, thanks for having me. Nice to have you back. Thanks. This is a, a crucial topic in this day and age, especially with kids growing up. I remember when I was a, a wee lad, there was none of the technology. Certainly we've acclimated, but for now, for kids, this is a big deal. So let's talk right off the bat here about the rules of National Unplugging Day and really what it's all about. So National Unplugging Day is a, a national campaign, which is extremely important for our kids as well because you're teaching them that there's something bigger than their community. Right. So you're teaching them to participate in something that is on a big scale. Um, and it is about unplugging your electronics. You sure. know, how many of us have two phones at work? How many of us have tablets? How many of us have, you know, anything that we have to stare down at? So it's about reconnecting with your family and turning off those electronics. And it really is overwhelming at times, so it's crucial to their cognitive development, to their overall well-being, that they take the time to do this even if they don't realize it because they're the ones they have them in their hands they don't want to give them up absolutely and sometimes we use them as a crutch you know we're at the market we're kind of in a meeting and we need a few minutes of distraction and you know we, we tend to fall back on them. Absolutely. And let's talk about the best ways to actually do it. When it comes time, the moment has arrived, we got to unplug. How do we go about it? Sure. So um, if you go to National, uh, the website for National Unplugging Day, they have bags that you can order for your family that actually you can tuck your electronics into. I mean, one of the biggest triggers is when we see our phone go off, we want to we wanna answer it. We want to. What am I missing? We want to respond to that light. So right. if that light is not visible, then you can put them away and, and you can focus on other activities you can do as a family. And really, one of the challenges I think, you know, I, I allude to the fact that kids nowadays growing up this is all they've known mm -hmm. so it's tough to kind of break that cycle think about when you were growing up all I knew was the TV now all they know is this it's hard to break those patterns and routines isn't it absolutely and one of the biggest things that you have to do is you have to model for them you have to turn your work phone off you have to answer those emails before the time right. um, you know it's sun sundown to sundown um, from a Saturday to a Sunday so uh, you know you really need to put those phones away and model the behavior for them because invariably they are not going to want to do this. They exactly. are going to put their little foot down and they're going to say, no, I want to be on. My friends are on. I'm playing a video game. I'm doing this. So you need to really be the example, don't you, as a parent? Exactly. And you also have to have things ready for them to do. So, you know, if you go to the website, again, nationalunpluggingday.com, you can actually order kits that give you um, activities that you can do at home. And then you can kind of do things with them. You can bake. You can cook. You can play board games. How right. many? We remember board I'd games. Still, let's on, bring you know one out mean? right now. Yeah. I'll kick your butt at Shoots and Ladders. Well, not at Monopoly, <laughs> though. Oh, I bet you would. And But really, I mean, would it kill them to read a book? I mean, anything that kind of takes them away and kind of captures the imagination because, hey, guess what? They might actually enjoy it. Exactly. And the one thing that we say all the time is it has to be relative to what they're doing. So you can't, if you want them to enjoy a book, it needs to be something that they're interested in. Absolutely. It can't be anything that's just out of the blue um, without any sort of introduction to them. Coming up soon right here on The Roadshow, Brent Elliott versus Brendan Kirby. The Monopoly face-off. <laughs> Put your money on, Brent. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Thanks Some very me. important information, you guys, to keep in mind for your kids. For more information from Cadence Education, they have lots of great tips and advice. Just visit us at roadshow.com.